Hey everyone, Dominic from Mountea here. Today, we're diving into version 3 of the Mountea dialogue system. Let's jump right in. The Mountea dialog menu button in the main menu ribbon has been updated to offer more functionality. It now includes dedicated shortcut buttons for project settings and editor settings, making navigation more efficient. Additionally, the menu provides quick access to support Discord, documentation, and other tools. Selecting project settings or editor settings will instantly open the respective configuration page. We will explore these settings in more detail later. Runtime settings have been relocated from Project Settings to a dedicated configuration file. New feature is Logging Verbosity, which allows enabling or disabling selected log types from the dialog system. This change enhances flexibility, allowing for seamless switching between different dialog modes. Editor settings didn't change much. The only new feature is the nodes replacement part which will be explained more later in the video. An ability to enable automatic gameplay tags download. You can open the nodes replacement file location, which should be the config folder in the plugin hierarchy, and you can open the file in default JSON type editor, in my case, Visual Studio Code. The file structure and its purpose is explained later with example. Along with the node's replacement, there is editor utility which can translate data to the JSON format. If you can't see the node's replacement file, don't worry as the editor settings provide a simple way to download it from official GitHub repository. The next update is purely visual. All dialog blueprint nodes have new design, which visually distinguish Mountea nodes from other standard blueprints. There are three types, which are setters, purple, getters, blue, and validations, orange. The creation menu has been updated too. Categories and classes are now categorized nicely. Also, bit update is ability to create your own blueprint nodes, which can be used in dialogues. Now for the big update, the PIE instance details. PIE, play in editor, will show all dialogue participants using this graph in runtime and will highlight the progress in the dialogue of selected instance. As you can see, the active dialog node is highlighted, and as the dialog continues, the visual guidance proceeds with us. This is very useful for more complex dialogues. You can also see the new keyboard and gamepad support in the skip or selection inputs.
Last big update is environmental dialogues where NPCs, or even single one, can talk without the player input. Now, let's proceed with the actual update from version 2 to version 3. I tried my best to give you as seamless as possible experience. However, as the code required big changes, there will be some manual labor that cannot be skipped. If you are using FAB version, you can skip ahead. If you are using GitHub release, stick with the video. Locate your plugin folder and delete all the content. Keep in mind that this will override all customizations you have done to the base code. Please use source control before doing any updates. Now you just need to paste downloaded files to the folder and start your project. Once you are in the project, you might see visual errors indicating broken blueprints. Easiest way to get full list of what is broken is to simply hit play and then open all editors. First step in order to fix broken blueprints is to open project folder and filter all blueprints. Right click on the selection and select option Fix Mountie Nodes. That will attempt to fix all nodes based on the JSON file we saw earlier in the video. Keep in mind that this process is not 100% perfect and there is still some manual fixes needed. Most of those are simple reconnection tasks. However, some will be more delicate. Let's fix one of the harder ones together. By pressing compile button, the editor will show list of issues, so it's much easier for you to locate them all. As you can see, there is a node that doesn't exist anymore. You can search for similar name and manually replace the node, but that would be time consuming if you need to do it dozens of times. Much faster is to update the JSON file with new mapping and use it for all other situations this very node is used. Simply open the translator utility and copy the broken node to the upper window, then hit translate. It will create a new JSON entry that you can copy. Now, locate the JSON file and open it. Add a new entry to the list and return back to the engine. Now repeat the same with the new node. Copy only the second part and override what you have copy pasted before. Now you have functional mapping and you can try the Fix Mounty Nodes button again. As you can see, the new node 
replace the old one, and the only thing you need to do is to fix the input connection and save the blueprint. Now, let's repeat this for all broken blueprints. I will not comment the next part, as it's basically just doing the same thing over and over again. Feel free to follow the video and watch What Am I Doing? After all nodes are fixed, we can try hitting play again, and as final result, we can see functional dialog again. A small extra explanation. There is new way how to start and stop dialog from blueprints and that is two new nodes. Request Start Dialog will attempt to start dialog, and request Close Dialog will try to close it.